Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see bipolar PWM technique for the inverter. Basically what is our inverter? Inverter converts DC to AC and in this type of bipolar PWM scheme what we are doing is we are getting at output pulse which is bipolar in nature means negative also coming means if voltage is there like in input we are having like DC voltage 100 volts. If you consider our DC as 100 volts we will get at output plus 100 and minus 100 like this like this is our plus 100 and below part is our minus 100 which we call as bipolar in nature so that's why this technique is known as bipolar technique I will name these switches as 1 this one as 2 this is as 3 and this one as 4 now we will see how we are generating this bipolar uh, pulses so first of all we need one reference and we need one carrier so reference is what our our sine wave which is represented by this one and carrier is our triangular wave which we have taken now what happen is how we are generating the pulse when reference voltage will become greater than the carrier voltage see here what happen is our reference voltage means sine is greater than our triangle so here one pulse will generate see so here one pulse will generate this one this pulse is generating here also we can see see reference is greater than carrier again one pulse will generate so what will happen with this is when this pulse will generate it is fed to our switches like first one when this become greater it is fed to our switch 1 and switch 2 when it is fed to switch 1 and switch switch 2 what will happen is our this voltage will appear directly across our resistor so if we considered it as a point a and if we consider this as a point b one minute i will just correct it uh, appropriately this is point a so what will happen is if this voltage is our vd so this vd will appear exactly across this voltage that is voltage across the resistor is vd when similarly in other case see when other case what will happen is uh, if you put uh, opposite one like if reference is lesser than carrier means at this point I will generate one pulse like this so basically this pulse is the inverted waveform of above pulses so this one I will feed to 3 and 4 like in cross fashion I am operating first one I am operating 1 and 2 another one I am operating 3 and 4 when 3 and 4 will operate what will happen is our this point like this point will be connected across negative point will be connected across this positive half and this positive point will be connected across negative so we will get the voltage across resistor that is vr that is to be minus vd so basically this uh, what i told here is 100 and minus 100 it will appear across here as vd and minus vd so this point will be vd and this point will be minus vd which will come across the output see here also we can see this point is minus vd and this point is plus vd so basically this is what VAB, VA minus of VB. In this fashion we are generating this pulse. So this by the area of this we can say this is our sine wave. See this is our sine wave we can say. So in this fashion it is converting AC, DC into the AC quantity. Now I want to know that if I want to change like output pulse, output voltage like this one. How can I change this output voltage? So there is a technique which we already know that is our modulation index. So basically our modulation index is what? It's our voltage of reference to the voltage of carrier or we can say the mod uh, voltage of modulating wave to the mod voltage of carrier wave. So if we vary our modulating wave uh, voltage like if this is our uh, reference voltage sine wave. So if I just increase the magnitude of our sine wave like if I reduce this or if I increase this. So with this fashion what will happen is our area this area is there now of this uh, square wave pulse width modulation technique this will increase or decrease with this I can change our output voltage of this waveform now how can I change the frequency to change the frequency I know I can change the reference now what is our reference it's again the sine wave so for this we have to change the frequency of reference with that I can change the frequency now we know the modulation factor modulation factor uh, frequency modulation index if you know okay let's talk about frequency modulation index it is what frequency of carrier to the frequency of reference oh, one minute frequency of carrier to the frequency of reference so what is frequency of carrier let's consider the frequency of carrier is 15 times higher than the frequency of reference what will happen is the harmonics will, which will generate it will be around 15 like i will just draw it here sorry it be, it becomes a little clumsy so first harmonic will be come around 15 we know it gen, it oscillates around uh, plus minus around odd harmonics it will come so if this is 15 that is my mf 
so it will come around here is what 13 and here is what 17 after that first will come across mf then here it will come across 2 mf now when it will come across 2 mf then what will happen here is 30 and then around here also it will oscillate the negative negative half and positive half of this uh, 30 means this will be around uh, minus 1 that is 20 uh, 28 uh, maybe yes uh, one minute 20 because this is our odd 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 harmonics will come here and this mf will be our even mf 2 mf 3 mf next okay like this fashion it will generate our harmonics so let's see how we can generate this bipolar technique in matlab for doing bipolar technique in matlab what we will do is what are the components that is required we will take from sibling library browser first one i will take the igbt which is the main component igbt slash diode we will select here then what we need is i will go to commonly used block from here i will use one and gate which i will convert to the not gate then i need one relational operator i need the scope also and uh, from here what i can take uh, okay i will go to simscape in this simscape then power system specialized technology in this fundamental block electrical sources i need one dc because inverter i need to operate that is inverting the dc to ac elements also i want that element is my RLC. I don't. I I forgot actually which one is my RLC branch. So I will just take two, which is taking our R, L, and C value. I will take that. Arrest other one. I will delete. Okay, and then I will go back. What are the other parameters I have to consider? Measurement also I want. Measurement of voltage I want, and the one mux I want. Mux I will take from there only. So let's go to the screen and let's try to make. So this is our DC voltage and this one is our scope okay i'll keep this aside this also now first of all i will just make igbt one two three and four i'll just select igbt's okay and i will connect this igbt's together here is one and this one is i have connected now resistor i want to connect i will just keep resistor as a 10 ohms okay i'll just remove l and c uh, here I will connect this part to this in, this side and this one to next leg okay this is fine I have made this now I have to make I have to connect this voltage port here at this side for measurement of voltage uh, one minute I'll just make it little bit better yeah so I'll connect this here one more thing I want here is power GUI I want here on power GUI block power GUI power gui i will just take it as a discrete i will show why i am taking this discrete if i take continuous what will happen is our sine wave uh, you can try with that if we take our continuous so our sine wave will become like our triangular wave so there is no difference between the sine triangle comparison what we are doing spwm so now i will take one sine wave i will show what i am saying in this one minute sine wave is not coming so i will just type here sine wave and i will take from here sine wave so this is our sine wave which we want and our we want here repeating sequence a repeating sequence so i'll just take one repeating sequence also from here uh this is fine repeating sequence is here and sine wave is here now what i will do is uh, i will just consider amplitude of sine as one frequency in radians per second i know 50 hertz but radians per second 2 pi into 50. fine phase is fine okay 2 pi 2 pi i want 2 pi into 50 and phase is fine sampling time is fine now i need the repeating sequence what value i should put the repeating sequence so time period i want that is time period is from uh let's take this 0 1 2 3 and 4 and uh, i want uh, my reference that is uh, vr that is our carrier to be of 100 hertz so i will just take it here as into 1 by 400 1 by 400 it will become our 100 hertz now output what how i want is it should start from 0 it should go to 1 then next it will go to again 0 then again it will go to minus 1 and then back to the 0 i want it like this so what i will do is i will just compare this two for this i need one comparator i'll make this greater than equal to sine okay so i made this greater to equal to sine now this is comparing and giving some output and here i need one not gate i'll just take not gate from here okay so this is our not gate and i'll remove this load i no need now then i need one here scope also one more scope i'll just require one scope 
so I'll just see what is my waveforms which I'm getting I'll take here one go to block go to uh, so basically I need here four go to blocks this is one one more for switch one switch two switch three and switch four so this one and this one so I'll just connect it okay and uh, this is I'll just name it one minute it became duplicate so I'll just name it as S1 this one as S2 this one as S3 and this one as S4 now this is go to now I need one from blocks also so from I just need one from block I'll just put here one which is our S1 okay S1 here it will come S4 no, this should operate together so basically this will come as 2 now here this will come our s3 one minute we can click here and with this arrow also we can select from block this is also easy and again I will just take s4 I'll click here and I will take this arrow and s4 I'll generate fine now this uh, DC I will just connect at the this side to the emitters and one collector 100 volts I have taken this Register is our 10 ohms. So now what I will do, I will just try to run this model. So one minute, S3, I think some issue is there. Go to from S3. Some issue is there in this. I will just make it clear. S1, S2, S3. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay, just I will make one more time if this issue is there. S3. Okay, let's see at the end what is the issue. Now what I need is I have generated a pulse, I have fed it here. Now I'll try to run this model now. Now let's see what is our error. If error is there, we'll just rectify it. So there is no error, that is fine. We are getting output, we will see later on. First we will see whether it is generating our uh, PWM or not. So we need to check it here in the scope. So we will what we'll do is we will take one max okay we will take one max we'll take one max and we will see it here like we will see sine and triangular together uh, i need one uh, scope here to see both the waveforms together in this i will just try to run one more time and i will see how my output is coming and I will just see by enhancing this one minute okay so this is fine what I'm getting here now I need to check my s1 s2 s3 and s4 whether I'm getting the pulses or not some error it is giving duplicate go to blocks of same tag we'll see where it is the same tag go to I think go to go to the below tag is same let's see that's where we will change this go go to tag again then I think S3 has been duplicated how but I don't know S3 S3 okay we will see what is the issue with this now I need one scope which I have taken here in this I need my two ports number of input ports are two one will be connected to upper part and another one with the not gate So we will just try to run and we'll check whether we are getting this or not. Here I will just do what I need to do this separately. So I have got these two separate parts of waveform. I'll just increase its C. Now how it is first is positive and second one is not not of opposite of other one. So this part is coming correct and we are generating here sign with the see here we are generating this sign and this is our carrier so we will compare and generate the pulse if you want to see it together we can see it together also okay let's see it together also one so this one I will put it here another one I will just take I think I should take this as a 3 now I will take this as a 3 and here also I will make it as 3 1 2 and 3 to see it with properly so first one I will just take sign and triangle comparison which I'll connect it here. One minute. 
I just connect it here and another one I will just connect it here positive one then to the negative half which is the not of that I will just open this our block zoom it little bit to see the waveforms see one minute I will just zoom it one more time see what is happening here is if reference become greater than carrier so it is generating one pulse from here to here reference is greater than carrier so one pulse is generating here so here reference is lesser than carrier this is not generating any pulse so here this is generating the pulse so this is perfectly correct output if you see that is our bipolar PWM technique we are getting the bipolar voltages that is between minus 100 to plus 100 so this is also perfect I don't know why this is showing error but our output is coming exactly correct I think there is some issue with the MATLAB so duplicate go to blocks with the same tag but there is no duplicate tags I don't know why but output is giving it's not giving any error so it is perfectly correct thank you for watching this video